Hi guys, if you are getting this error, there was a problem resetting your PC when you try to reset your PC. You can easily fix this error. Let's try to fix the problem. What you have to do, uh, just close this setting panel where you want to, uh, you, where you went to restart your PC. Now just press shift key from your keyboard. Okay. Now what you have to do? Let's move to the first method. Just search CMD in the Windows 10 search box. Okay. And run as administrator. Okay. Now, when this command prompt windows opens up, we have to type two commands. These two commands one by one and hit enter. Okay. So first we'll write RE agent C disable. And now we will write re agent c slash enable. Basically, we are disabling and enabling it once again. Now, just try to reset the you know um, Windows 10 again and try if it works or not. If it does not work. First of all. Uh, go to Google and search Windows 10 installation media. Okay, installation media ISO. Okay, hit enter, and now you will uh, go to this Microsoft.com website. Okay, make sure this is Microsoft.com website, and now click on download tool now. Okay. Now it is getting downloaded. Now this media creation tool.exe has been downloaded on your computer. Just click on it to open it. Now it will have two options upgrade to this PC now, upgrade this PC now, and create installation media. We'll select the second option create installation media USB file drive. Click on next. Uh, see, uh, you can change it, uh, this architecture, you can change it. This is the recommended option for this PC, means the PC on which you are downloading, it automatically fetches the configuration of that PC and just select the best possible, you know, Windows 10. But you can, if you want to change, just uncheck this and now you can select 32-bit or any other thing you want, okay? But leave it by default because for this, uh, if you want, 64 bit only now click on next now you have two options one is an ISO file which you can download on your PC only so you can download this ISO file on this PC currently uh, on which you're doing this process or a USB flash drive in which you can create installation media so we want the first option now click on next now here we'll select this Now here is our USB drive. Make sure, make sure that it is completely formatted and empty. Okay, no file is in this USB. Now we have selected E. Click on Next. So guys, your USB flash drive is ready. This is E uh, USB flash uh, drive. Uh, and now you can click on Finish. And now it will finish the drive. And now you can take out of your USB this has become your installation bootable USB disk. Hi guys, so if you are planning to change the BIOS, uh, the boot order in the BIOS, so you can easily do that while entering the BIOS. Uh, if you have created the, um, uh, now let's see how to change the boot order in BIOS. Uh, if you have created the installation media in a USB file if you have created an installation media on a USB disk now you have to change the bio uh, now you have to change the boot order in the BIOS settings so that when you start the computer it automatically reads the files from the USB not the OS okay so let's see how to do it different manufacturers have different ways to go to BIOS different keys assigned for it 
in HP it's F10 uh, and um, like Dell it's F2 it's uh, some uh, laptop manufacturers have Dell delete keys so, okay so let's say in my case it is HP so I'll press F10 as soon as I my computer boot up okay so this is the you know um, BIOS of my computer okay now what I will do I'll just locate this boot order where it is okay normally it is in system configuration okay so here it is now just with these arrow keys you know with these arrow keys I am going up and down now now just go down and click on boot options hit enter and now this will expand now make sure this USB boot is enabled okay make sure this USB boot is enabled if it is not enabled I will hit enter key okay by selecting it so that it gets enabled okay in my case it is enabled so I'll leave it okay after that just go here UEFI boot order okay so first one is OS boot manager this is the default because uh, your OS boots like this but you have to USB diskate on you know key USB hard disk okay so you'll have to do this okay so to make uh, put it up and down there are dedicated keys like F5 and F6 in my computer so I'll you know press F5 to push sorry it's going down so let's say I'll press F6 to move it up okay and now here it is okay so I have changed the boot order and now uh, it says F10 to save and exit so I'll press F10 and I'll enter hit the enter key and click yes and now boot order has been changed to USB but don't forget to change back the boot order on it okay uh, to come here to the BIOS again and make the OS boot manager at the top once your Windows OS is installed again okay. insert the USB media into your computer and it will boot from the USB and now you will reach a screen like this now click on next and now click on install now and complete the installation process it will be as good as it a reset because a fresh installation of windows will be created on your computer so that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek page